All right, Telluride Mushroom Festival. We are here in the transfer warehouse um, in between different events, uh, talking with Rain Grant. Uh, Rain lives in Durango, Colorado, and I'm gonna let her, we're gonna, we're gonna start by letting her talk a little bit about uh, the lovely uh, mushroom related things that she's involved in. Cool, thank you, thank you for, uh, thank you for having me, Becca. I'm really, really honored. Yeah, so my name is, uh, is Rain, Rain Grant, and um, I don't know, I've been studying mushrooms since 2012 and uh, just connecting with all of the various experts in their field and, uh, and, and just learning as much as I can. I've been working on a, a documentary titled, Can Mushrooms Save the Planet? And it's a question that I've posed. I'm not saying, you know, what does saving the planet mean? And basically, um, I've been talking to experts and people, uh, citizens in science and all of these uh, various people who, have, who are facing some of the epidemics that our planet is going through. And, uh, and what are we doing to remedy that? And a lot of people are using some really cool techniques and things using, yeah, fungi. Fungi, fungi, however you wanna say it. But um, some really inspiring things going on. And uh, the more that I connect with people, the more down the rabbit hole I go, or, or, or through the mycelial web, I suppose. <laughs> <clears throat> I also have the, uh, the Colorado Mushroom Company. My sister and I have joined forces and we're creating a, uh, a, a business that my family can run. My, my kids, a few of my uh, teenagers came up here to the festival and went to the cultivation course with William Padilla Brown and Trad Cotter. So I was like, hey, this would be an amazing place for them to come and learn from some of our top mycologists, you know? And they got so excited and that really turns me on. I'm like, oh gosh, the, kid, the kiddos are excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah, we've got the Colorado Mushroom Company. I focus on uh, medicinals. I'm really passionate about health and well-being of our planet as well as our bodies and our minds. You know, if we're thinking clearly, we're able to make better decisions. And it seems like we really do need to be making better decisions. Um, yeah, so I've, I've got the Colorado Mushroom Company. I'm doing the uh, documentary. I'm also, um, I am, we, I started a chapter of the Psychedelic Club. Uh, that's based out of Denver, so we have a, 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 a chapter in Durango. So I am the president of the Psychedelic Club of Durango, and we have a great board of director, directors right now. We have um, Rasta Stevie Smith. He's a character. He is our lovely, uh, um, he's our communications ambassador. That's what we call him. And then we have uh, Dr. Mark Bronstein, who is our local cannabis doctor and uh, ketamine doctor. So he's, he's more into to those fields. And uh, then we have Misto, the magician. And he's, he's just kind of a, you know, he's a cool guy. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's actually a magician. And then we have Anthony Kunkel on our board, who is our athletic performer. He's, uh, I think he's done two, two he's won twice, I think, in, in uh, America for ro road running. And uh, really proud of him. But he uses a lot of mushrooms and psychedelics in his training, so uh, that's been super interesting getting him to share. So I am, uh, yeah. So I've been going down the rabbit hole of psychedelics, going down the rabbit hole of saying remediation, things like that. What are we using? Fungi. Gosh, you can you can grow building materials and things. You know, uh, fungi have so many multifaceted uses that I've just been going down all of these rabbit holes. And when I research and go down these rabbit holes, I just I don't know, I, I really, really dive in. And I love sharing what I am learning and teaching my kids and now kind of creating and producing myself as much as possible. Kind of joining forces. I'm all about community and things like that. So just bringing people in on things and collaborating. Um, so let's see, what else am I doing? Gosh, I mean, what, what, what would you like to talk about, Becca? Yeah, so... <laughs> Actually, from, from being friends with, with Anthony, um, I know that you make some pretty magical uh, Amanita muscaria tinctures. Um, and I'm just wondering if you could talk a little bit more about the research that you've done and, and what you're using them for and, and uh, cool stories that you might have to share about people, other people using them. So yeah, uh, Amanita muscaria is, a, is kind of a scary mushroom. It's a beautiful mushroom. It's our iconic Alice in Wonderland mushroom, the red one with the white polka dots. And uh, you know, you'll look it up in books and it'll say toxic or poisonous. And, uh, and there's a reason for that. Um, there are toxins in, in that mushroom that can make you very sick. Now, no one has been found to, to die. I tried to dig that information up. I've never found a death associated with Amanita muscaria specifically. Although there are Amanita varieties 
that uh, can kill you dead. So that's why it's really, really important to know how to identify your mushrooms. Um, that particular mushroom that grows globally, there are different varieties all over the world. Um, our specific species to the Rocky Mountains are the, is the one that I um, personally work with and have been researching. Uh, Amanita muscaria, I think it's Flaviovata. I might be saying that, you know. But um, anyway, it's, it's a lot stronger in the, uh, the ibotenic acid and the muscimol. And um, you just, you have to prepare that mushroom properly if you're gonna either consume it as a food or as a medicine. And there are different ways to prepare it and there are different ways to consume it. Um, I have been working with that mushroom for about seven years now personally and then I started making medicines and smoke blends and things like that uh, tinctures I have uh, clients that will put it on externally only for uh, for joint pains arthritis and things like that and they swear by it I have uh, clients who uh, have had head injuries and serious migraines and uh, this one gal she's like I have been on your your stuff for the last four months and I have been migraine free and she's been having migraines since she was like 16 she's in her 30s now and that's seriously good feedback. The, the basic premise around uh, Amanita muscaria is that it is a nerve tonic. Uh, it, the muscimol binds to the GABA receptors in the brain and it helps for a smoother transference of the electrical pulses. Uh, so it's really good for people who suffer from, say, anxiety, uh, sleep, sleep disorders. It helps with sleep. It's like it's a dream enhancer. So some people will take it or smoke it and then come back to me the next day and be like, wow, my dreams were through the roof last night. Um, I recently got to hang out with the band uh, Dirtwire. I, I got to drive them around and that was super cool because I've been following those guys for several years and they are super into the psychedelics and they're all tied in with the decriminalized nature people and decrim, decrim uh, psilocybin and they're really really into the psychedelics uh, in, and they use it for their creative processes so when they were hanging out I got to really uh, well I've, I've connected with them several times but this time around I got a little more intimate hanging out jamming with them all of that fun stuff but um, I went ahead and gave them some of my products and they uh, they took them before their last show down there and Tico Time Resort, and they and they gave me some really good feedback. They were like, "Oh my gosh!" and "Oh my dreams!" and this, that, and the other. And I was like, "Yeah, that's that's good feedback, especially from people who are who are really into the uh, to the scene and take it seriously. You know, this isn't just uh, you know. I mean, it's fun to trip out and stuff, but Amanita muscaria, although it is a psychoactive um, mushroom, um, in order to really have a shamanic experience, you're going to have to prepare it. I do offer classes and education surrounding that. People reach out all of the time for, for that information, so I'm gonna put some classes together. I have classes, presentations, uh, but I, I usually touch on it very briefly, and I wanna dive a little deeper into that because I think people need to, well, if they wanna make their own medicine or if they're interested in the medicine, knowing how to prepare it properly in order to not get sick. Um, that's really important. But for some reason, that mushroom, no matter where I go and travel, it seems to show itself to me. So I do, I feel like if, uh, you know, you, you hear of spirit totems, <laughs> you know, animal totems, how about a mushroom totem? <laughs> and mine, I would have to say, it was probably the Amanita muscaria or our uh, local uh, Fomitopsis shraki, which is our local uh, red belted polypore, really powerful um, medicinal as well. Not psychoactive, but powerful in its own way. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a really controversial topic, and I do get scrutinized quite uh, intensely for talking about it. Uh, and why not talk about it? I mean, it's been used traditionally for thousands of years and uh, to treat all sorts of ailments and, and things. And so, uh, yeah, why not talk about these things? We're learning more and more information about it, all things fungi and fungal. <laughs> fungi and fungal. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm super interested in it and I'm always wanting to learn more. And so, you know, when people come to me with new information, I just soak it up. <laughs> yeah, I, just a, a couple of things. It's I think it's really special that, you know, when you 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 connect with a mushroom or a plant that you feel that you feel drawn to to really like run with that. And I almost feel like it's at some way it's your duty to to dive in and to research. Um, and also that the that the the example of the muscaria being able to do so many different things for so many different people is is a big lesson in that you know you need to 
to listen to your body and, and know yourself and, you know, that it might do one thing for somebody else. It might do something for another. Um, and, and kind of thirdly, just something that I've been thinking about is that, um, you know, there are, are other examples in nature, um, like, you know, penicillin, for example, where, you know, if you eat that, it, it's going to make you sick. But if it's processed in the right way and extracted properly by professionals, then it is, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's clearly changed the trajectory of our country. So thank you for, <laughs> for bringing about these lessons, Rain. Um, and I know we had one person uh, ask for uh, links to the different projects you're involved in. So um, we will be uh, posting this live video um, and we'll be linking uh, the different Instagram accounts so that y'all can uh, get connected. Um, we also have somebody asking uh, how can we get the tincture and can we contact you in Durango? Yes, yes. So I'm like right outside of Durango and depending, I can uh, yeah meet up with you even we don't, and I can ship globally um, uh, to only, con well, some countries that, you know, it's not legal for some reason, Amanita Muscaria. But yeah, the Colorado Mushroom Company. We do have a website Colorado Mushroom Company dot love, and, um, and and we are on Etsy right now, and uh, so but you can reach out to me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, and I oh we just started a TikTok. My my, oh. thir my 13 year old uh, niece is is our is our manager is our TikTok manager, and we just made our first video, and that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <Super> gosh! <fun. laughs> well, we will kids. make sure to link all of those back. Do you have anything else to share, Rain? Goodness, just I mean. Yeah, um, be curious, continue to ask questions and uh, always feel things out, you know, it's just words of advice. And yeah, reach out. Uh, I love to geek out about mushrooms and uh, I love to answer questions and, um, I, you know, and, and if you have anything to offer, I am also open, open to, open to, uh, to receiving that. But yeah, let's geek out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rain. Thanks for being here. Much love. Much love. <laughs>